So you've been editing your video and now you want to know how do I save it? Well, that's quite a difficult question because if we come up to the file menu, there is no save button. You can save video effects preset, but that's not what we're after. So what's going on here? Well, actually, this is because Final Cut doesn't have the concept of saving. Your, con your work is actually being constantly saved. So every time you do anything here in the Final Cut user interface, it's immediately saved to the project. Now, I do mean immediate. As soon as you've let go of the mouse, it's been saved to the project. So Final Cut is constantly saving your work. Now, the great thing about this is it actually can keep an entire history of what you've done on your project. So when you start undoing, you can go all the way back to the beginning almost. So this is a very different way of working. But you still might want the, the concept of saving for particular reasons. So I'll show you a couple of um, almost workarounds if you want to use saving as a, as a backup feature. If you um, click on your library and in the inspector clip modify settings, you can actually see you've got a backups option here. So what this is, is uh, every few minutes Final Cut will create a backup of your library in the folder that you've designated here. So that's one way of making sure that you've got a backup in case something happens to your main library. The other option that I've covered is to duplicate project to snapshot. So this creates a snapshot of your project as it is, um, which is quite useful when you've just finished an edit and you want to make sure that's preserved so that any future changes you make can be rolled back if you don't like them. Now the side effect of Final Cut always saving the file is that sometimes you might feel Final Cut's quite sluggish. And the common reason for this is that you've got your project file, your library, on perhaps a slow hard disk. So it's always good to check if you feel it's being sluggish, check where your library actually is. If it's on an external hard disk um, that's connected over a slow connection like a USB 2, then it might be worth looking at trying to move your library file onto a faster SSD.